Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to compare these two Bluetooth page turners. One's the Page Flip Firefly, and the other's the AirTurn BT200, the AirTurn Duo. I've previously unboxed these two in separate videos, so if you want a bit more detail about the unboxing and a review of them each separately, then please go and check out those videos. We'll pop a link up for those. In the meantime, let's quickly unpack some of the main differences and what I reckon is the one to go for if you're a musician. So both devices were super easy to set up. The Bluetooth connectivity was dead easy. They weigh more or less the same. This is about 250 grams. This is about 280 grams. And they both work really well as page turners. So what's the main difference? Well, the main difference to me comes down to the programmability of them. If you're a musician and you're interested in turning pages in an app like Fourscore, so you can read music without turning the sheets, then either of them would do perfectly well. Um, however, the air turn does have the advantage of being rechargeable, which I think is huge. In the day and age of instant access to electronic consumables when you buy them, um, I was really surprised when I had to put batteries in this and they didn't come supplied. I had to go and find some batteries before it would actually work. So in that regard, the page, the air turn gets my vote. Now, the other interesting thing about the air turn is that you can actually remove these cables and take out the little middle section from the device. Let me do that. So you can now see that we've disconnected the actual pedals from the controller. But this thing is where the Bluetooth is connected. So I can now use this if I wanted to, to control things. So this potentially becomes a little bit more valuable because if you're someone who presents or uses PowerPoint or wants to do other things that require turning pages or changing settings or something that can be done via Bluetooth, you could potentially use this and not look like some idiot trying to hold this up while giving a PowerPoint presentation and using the paddles that you should use for your feet. So I thought that was a pretty cool um, innovation that they've done with this particular pedal. As I mentioned at the start, one of the main differences is their ability to be programmed. So both of these pedals can be programmed. So if say you're a someone who uses it for dictation and you wanna change pages in a Word document or you wanna scroll down a, a certain amount rather than just flip pages in music, then both of them can be reprogrammed to do that. However, the air turn allows you to do that on an app the page flip requires Mac or PC software. So I could already see that this is probably gonna be the easier one to program. Um, however, this one does have some features which I do like. Uh, one of them is the lights that you can turn on in the panel. So these two little uh, holes here have little lights in them. So if you're in a dark area while you're performing uh, and that's useful for you, then that could be a great um, uh, option to have. Um, and you've also got the ability to quickly change the type of settings that you're using along here. So whereas the air turn, you would need to jump in and do some programming of it. This one, you can choose between five different modes like right and left mouse click, uh, space bar and enter and things like that. Now again, not that useful for musicians, but if you're not a musician and using this for other things, then maybe that's the best way to go. As I said at the start, one of the big advantages of the air turn is that it's got a rechargeable battery in it and the manufacturer states that that should last about 200 hours. The page flip takes two AA batteries. You can plug it into the wall socket using an, a USB adapter, but that's not gonna be too handy if you're a gigging musician out and about and you just want to know that you can rely on it without batteries running out or having to plug it into a wall. Um, the red light on the air turn, which isn't flashing at the moment, starts flashing as this runs out of power. So you will notice instantly when it's gonna be getting low, so you're not gonna be caught out in the middle of a gig. So what about the price? Well, the page flip is about 109 US dollars. The Bluetooth uh, Duo, AirTurn Duo, about $99. So about $10 different, pretty similar really, uh, plus your postage. And finally, both of these come in a range of different uh, sizes. Both of them have an option for four pedals on one. Interestingly enough, you can see on their website, the page flip one has these two pedals and it has another two just above, just sitting here. This one, when you, if you get the quad, has another two pedals out the side. So you get another one here, another one here. Much more like a guitarist would have a whole bar of pedals on the floor. So if you're interested in, in that, the, um, there are options for both of them. There is also a ped version of this, PED, uh, which is a slightly lighter weight version of this. Doesn't have the detachable section in the middle. So that can be another option for you at 
at a great price point as well. So drum roll, what's the best out of these two for a musician? Well, I have to give it to Air Turn in this case. And really the main points for me is the fact that I can actually separate this middle section here and use it as a handheld page turner, which could be great for my presenting. Uh, but it really, I'm really impressed by the fact that it comes with a rechargeable battery, which this one doesn't, and it's able to be programmed on an app. So I think they're the advantages for this one. Uh, highly recommend both, uh, both the pedals, but the air turn gets my vote as a musician. So if you'd like to find out more about them, check the links below. Love to hear any questions or comments you've got. If you are a user of either of these two devices, let me know what's your thoughts and uh, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you really soon. Just before you go guys, I wanna make sure you're aware of Piano Pivot Live. It's my first ever Piano Teachers Conference and it's being held 23rd and 24th of January right here in my hometown of Melbourne. Beautiful weather in summer, of course. If you wanna find out more about it, head to timtopham.com conference. It's gonna be an incredible experience and I can't wait to welcome you to Melbourne. See you then.